How's everyone doing? We're going to look at the next set of locks in the Quincy Lock Flow. Okay, the next one we're going to do is a cradle lock. We're going to use the same entry to get in. So you're going to give me a right punch. I'm going to catch it. Come here. Hit. This arm's going to come around. I'm going to put this hand, if I was to fold his arm, it would go right here above to kind of get the leverage point. And his wrist is going to sit inside the crook of my arm. I can support it by putting the other hand on it and then drive him down. Uh, some of your hitting options here is, of course, you can stomp on the foot, the horse well. You can drive your knee into a sciatic nerve. That's very painful. Of course, you have the knee to the face. If you want to get him to the ground, you can come around, sweep, drive him down that way, off, and, and get some other stuff there. A few other cool tricks that can be done off of this one is, what's the size of me? <clears throat> Catch it here, and you get him in that cradle. Um, you could kind of run him around pretty good. Another thing that is good that you can run him around. Whoa, oh, so <laughs> and of course you have one very <laughs> And of course you have one variation on this too. And this first one we're showing, one throw. Here, in this first one we're showing, the arm's basically straight. Sometimes it will fold over and you'll get it this way. Uh, pretty much everything still applies if it folds. And if we do get him on this cradle, I don't shoot. And I feel that he's fighting me or something coming in. And going that way, of course, I can roll back under our wrist lock from that position. Cradle arm lock works very well on the fighting arm dummy as well. We'll show that one using the same entry. I catch, come in, punch. The arm is going to sink around. The, it does articulate like a human being would. And then you'll notice that it is not folding. I am on the. Um, tricep, so I can apply that and put some force on it and it's staying in place. Again, I have my options to kick, hit the bag and all of that. Now we do the arm lock. We get it from the other side and again we can treat right and left the same. It doesn't really matter. Come up, get my hit, I go up from here, and I put the lock on and apply pressure. Okay, next one we're going to do is an upward arm lock. This one really isn't my favorite, but I'm going to show it for completion. Um, again, you're your right punch. Entry's going to stay the same. There's two ways they do this. The first way is with the palm. Again, we want to get on this side. You don't really want to go on the elbow. You don't have much pressure there as if you come up here. This hurts more. Um, I like to put my elbow into my body. It's kind of a support thing, and you pull down on the arm and get him up. The second way is to do it with the arm. I like this if it was like ballistic, so if you threw that much, I come here and then I'll catch it with an uppercut and you hit with the groin or whatever. But they will do it as a stance walk from this position to get them up. Throws don't come too well off of this, but these are kind of good come-alongs because you get them on his tippy toes and I can move them around. So if I have them up this way, I can kind of take them up and walk and show. <laughs> that works pretty well. Again, also two. One more time, please. Come in. Catch this, you have a lot of other shots of the legs, feet, and all that kind of good stuff. So that would be the upper arm lock. Okay, also with the upper arm lock, we can flow into other locks. The kind of trick to this is the lock you want to go into is the opposite of the one you just applied. So, for example, come in a little slow. If I get to here and I start to put the lock on, and manual starts to fight me like folding down, the thing that feels best to go to is that cradle. That one kind of happens very easily. So from here, and then also from here, which will be our next lock, if he fights me and he kind of crouches down, I can go down this way and take him in that direction. So that would be two options to flow to out of the upward arm lock. Okay, the upward arm lock on the fighting arm dummy. We're going to start out with the same entry, and catch, come up, get our first shot in to soften him up, and then we're going to come up, put our hand on the tricep, getting behind the elbow. Um, can use the palm of the hand, or we can use the inside of our forearm, and this can either be a rock or it can be kind of a realistic shot hitting. Uh, main point is to stay on that tricep. The other thing is you want his thumb pointing up. One more time. Catch, here, hit, hit up. That would be the upper arm lock.
this is a downward arm lock. What you haven't guessed is the opposite of an upward arm lock. Pretty easy to figure this one out. There is, he's going to punch, come in and catch. I'm going to twist so that his thumb is pointing down to the ground. If you go any farther than that, you don't get that pressure correctly, and then he ends up rolling into another lock. You want his thumb pointing to the ground. Again, not on the elbow, but slightly above it. You're going to take your forearm and take him down. Of course, the, uh, take down a sweep of the leg works as before and all of that. Another kind of uh, neat trick you can do is shove him in this direction. Go really slow with that. If I have this lock on, if I can get over here, shove him over here, I can sweep that foot and get him down. And that would be the downward arm lock. The downward arm lock is the opposite, like we said. Um, pretty much the same kind of deal. You want to get on the tricep, but the main thing is after we catch, we need to twist his arm so his thumb is pointing down to the ground. So again, off the same catch, catch, get our hit. We're going to twist his arm, come down and lower our weight on our right hand, pushing down while lifting up with his hand. Uh, talked a little bit about about flowing from one lock to the other, and I said always use the opposite. What that basically means is if I'm doing a lock that basically is taking a guy to the left, for instance, the average person is going to resist by pushing to the right. If you try to take the left, they're going to try to fight you to the right. So you want to have a lock that will allow you to roll in the opposite direction. Same thing for up, down, whatever. So let's say for instance, there we go with that uh, upward to downward lock. If I catch it on the wrist, and I'm holding at the wrist so that we don't want to play in this, in this hand and not losing anything. And I come up to hit and I don't quite get it. If he pushes down, his energy is going towards the floor. So it's the most economical thing for me to do to flow into a lock that goes in that direction. So when we say flow into another lock, we mean flow to a lock that has the opposite direction of the one you're using. checking out another video. Uh, if you guys get a chance, check out the website. Got some more cool stuff coming up on there. And we'll see you next time.